Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video we will learn about else if statement in C++. But before we start make sure to subscribe to channel and press the bell icon next to it so that you never miss our future videos. Now let's move to our topic. First of all let's learn the syntax of else if statement. It consists of three blocks that are if block, else if block and else block. The if block holds some condition inside the parenthesis and based on the condition it prints the statement that is enclosed within the brackets. If the condition is true then it will execute the statement and if the condition is false then the condition inside the else if block will be checked. And if the condition is true then it will print the statements written inside the else if part and if the condition is still false then finally the else part will be executed. Also we can write more than one else if blocks in our program. So now you got the basic idea of how else if statement works in C++. Now let's go to code blocks and see how it actually works in coding. Here I have created a C++ file and we have our boiler code written. So inside the main function we will write our program. Basically what I want is to write a program which will display the grades of student based on his marks. So first of all let's declare a variable named as marks and write a cout statement after that saying that the marks should be in the range of 0 to 100. So definitely 100 will be the maximum. Now let's take the number from the user. So after that let's write cin statement to get the value. After that we will write our else if syntax. Now here we will specify the condition. Let's say that I want to put the condition that if marks is less than or equal to 100 and greater than or equal to 91 then print the statement congratulations you got A grade. Else if the marks are less than or equal to 90 and greater than or equal to 81 then print the statement you got B grade. Else if the marks are less than or equal to 80 and greater than or equal to 71 then print the statement you got C grade. Else if the marks are less than or equal to 70 and greater than or equal to 61 then print the statement you got D grade. Else if the marks are less than or equal to 60 and greater than or equal to 51 then print the statement you got E grade. Else we say that you are fail. So let's run the program so it is asking for the marks. Let's enter 92 and here you can see that it prints that congratulations you got A grade because the condition given in the if block is true. Once again let's run the program and this time enter 40 and here you can see that it prints that you are fail because the condition given in the else block is true. So I hope you have learned the else if concept in this video. In the next video we will see switch statement in C++. So make sure to subscribe to channel and press the bell icon next to it so that you never so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video and also share this video with your friends. Moreover if you have any query you can ask me below in the comments or you can message me directly on the Facebook. The link to my Facebook page is given in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.